Welcome to Spice Trip with Polymy. My name is Polymy and I bring out videos every three days with a new recipe. And today I have a very interesting recipe that we will be making. It's called Pindi Chole. Now Pindi is a shorter version of the word Raval Pindi. And this particular dish actually was left behind or rather is something which is very similar to um, what is eaten in Pakistan. So do you see the beautiful brown color? There's a secret ingredient. So stay tuned. So I've soaked chickpeas last night and this is how they look right now so now I've added them to a pressure cooker so it's three cups of water for the soaked chickpeas and something unexpected would happen I'm gonna add tea bags into this so now you can see I've actually chopped off the uh, tag it has a print and you really don't need all of that uh, while it's boiling and now half a teaspoon of salt now this is a pressure cooker and it will cook this uh, these chickpeas for 15 uh, within 15 minutes but if you want you can also use canned chickpeas the only issue is you would not be able to add these tea bags into it but if you do wish to what you could do is buy the canned chickpeas and then boil it with the black tea bag for maybe 10 minutes so that you get that brownish color it's been almost 20 minutes i let it rest and now look at that color now this is what i meant you cannot get this color when you are using a canned chickpea and it's cooked to perfection now let's start chopping the vegetables you just need like three centimeter of ginger uh, we're not going to use any onion or garlic um, or tomatoes in this dish just scrape it using a spoon and then julienne the ginger we also need a little bit of kick of the chili so i have taken two chilies and i'm going to cut them in the center i'm not removing the seeds so i've taken one teaspoon of pomegranate seeds then added around 1.5 tablespoon of coriander seeds half a teaspoon of carom seeds or also called as ajwain added a one fourth teaspoon of amchur powder three cloves and two green cardamom now dry roast this on a medium flame for almost one to two minutes and that's it let it cool down and then grind it into a, a really fine powder and this particular spice powder can stay intact um, in a spice jar as well for a good six months so if you want to bulk make it you can always do that the powder is ready if you see it's not very fine but it's not coarse at all so let's get cooking in a pan take around two to three tablespoon of oil add half a teaspoon of cumin seeds one eighth teaspoon or a pinch of asafoetida if you don't know what asafoetida is this is how it looks like it is very important when you're cooking with chickpeas add one bay leaf in india we use dried bay leaves you can always use the fresh one now add the ginger don't add all the ginger because we'll use some for garnishing later and then add half a teaspoon to one teaspoon of red chili powder half a teaspoon of turmeric powder and now mix it all really well now add the spice mix that you've made before and add around a uh, two tablespoon of that spice mix mix and give it all a good mix time to now add the cooked chickpeas add it all do not discard the liquid let the liquid cook in the pan um, and that's gonna bring in a really beautiful earthy flavor add around 1 8 teaspoon of black salt and half a teaspoon of regular salt mix it all well and now time to make the tempering or the tarka 
So take another pan or the same pan used to make the dry spice. Add around a uh, two tablespoon of sunflower oil or ghee. Follow it up with cumin seeds and more carom seeds and the ginger that we had reserved for garnishing. So we add that and the green chili that we had chopped earlier. Let this cook. Add half a teaspoon of red chili powder. Now that's totally optional you really don't have to add it but i've added it because it gives a beautiful color mix it all up and this gets transferred on top of the chole so the street style chole would actually have way too much oil this is quite a lot healthier than that add half a teaspoon of sugar to balance the flavor and you can garnish this with some coriander leaves if you like or not and that was the dish. I hope you liked the recipe. If you did, don't forget to like this video, comment down below, please subscribe to my channel. Till I see you all again with another video. Take care and bye.